Joe Biden is currently being mocked for trying to shake hands with no one. Yes, Joe Biden finishing a speech turns to shake hands with no one. There's no one standing there. And then he looks around, points at someone, seems befuddled. And it's hard to know exactly what's going on. But my friends, this is not a story about Joe Biden appearing to be befuddled because, well, I'm sure by now most of you realize that Joe Biden, if anything, is a befuddled man. No, this story, this segment is about how the media constantly tries to protect a man who is so out of his gourd, I can't imagine he'll actually run in 2024. Well, technically, he'd need to start running this year, considering how politics has gotten insane. Here's my prediction. Joe Biden, his, his, his approval, his polls, they're in the gutter, beyond in the gutter. I don't think he can run simply because of his, you know, what's what's the right word? Um, derangement? Probably. Yeah, derangement maybe is the right word. But Joe Biden just doesn't seem to be functioning. Even in 2020, he did not seem to be functioning. He'd call a lid and they knew they were going to get him in because people just hated Donald Trump. So if Donald Trump runs again, maybe just maybe people might vote for Joe Biden. But I think at this point, when you see years of Joe Biden struggling to speak and trying to shake hands with the air, even the the, the most ardent holdout might say, you know what, I, I, I at the very least cannot vote for this guy. Plus, everybody now knows the Hunter Biden laptop story is true. So m- my only assumption as we move forward is that they got to sub this guy out. But what are they going to do? Kamala Harris? She's l- less popular than Joe Biden is, depending on what metric you look at. I think if you if you if you look at the fact that Joe Biden's the president. He's going to get a lot of the blame for what's going on. But I think in terms of just like, would you like Joe Biden or Kamala Harris? At the very least, Joe Biden is, well, I guess, a a befuddled old man, right? There's a sympathy factor there. Kamala Harris is a shrill, awful woman who laughs at suffering. But anyway, I digress. I don't think the Democrats have anybody. I think they know they don't have anybody. So the media is going to do everything, everything they can to try and protect the befuddled, broken president. In this story from The Telegraph, they say Joe Biden mocked for shaking hands with thin air after speech. Yes, but there's another story that we must tackle. Bird poops on Biden as he claims U.S. is in dumps because of Putin. Did a bird actually poop on Joe Biden? Well, upon watching a video, it does seem the splatter does happen on Joe Biden's shoulder, on his just above his lapel. Now, the mainstream media is saying it is it is not bird poop. You are wrong, New York Post. It is but corn, which makes no sense. I mean, it might make sense because they're like he was standing next to a pile of corn talking about ethanol. But why would corn splatter? Why would it bounce off and splatter from straight overhead? Oh, I think we can break this one down. Honestly, I think it may be bird poop, but, uh, you know, I don't know for sure. I don't think anybody really does. It just depends on what you think it is. But let's talk about how the media is protecting a man whose brain doesn't work before we just make fun of the guy because a bird pooped on him. Hey, look, I'm walking into the Daily Wire headquarters the other day and about five feet in front of me, I, I hear a and I'm like, a, and then I, lo- I look over and there's bird poop right there on the ground. And I was like, that was close. And then I look up at the at the roof and sure enough, I see a little bird butt. That's a true story. I'm not kidding. I look and there it is. And I'm like, that could have been me. I'm not going to blame Joe Biden because a bird pooped on him. Assuming the bird pooped on him. I'm going to go after the media for lying about it and trying to come up with any reason why a bird didn't poop on him instead of just being like, who cares? You know, look, somebody wants to complain about Joe Biden getting pooped on. I don't think they're winning votes. You know, it's just a thing that happened. But let's let's talk about this first story. The Telegraph reports Joe Biden is facing renewed questions about his cognitive state after he after he appeared to shake hands with thin air following a speech on America's ongoing supply chain woes. The 79 year old president had just finished delivering a nearly 40 minute speech in Greensboro, North Carolina, when he turned to his right and stuck and, and stuck out his hand before he appeared to say something into empty space while miming a handshake. I can't believe this actually happened. Let me play the video. All right, everybody's clapping, and then and then he does it. He he sticks out his hand, turns, and then finger bang, bang bang. You know you you know pa. He points at somebody, and then he just seems befuddled. There's a video going around 
where it showed Joe Biden seemingly confused. Obama's behind him. People are talking and Joe Biden's like looking around like, oh, what's happening? And people made fun of him because they were like, Joe Biden looks lost. The media then said, fact check, was Joe Biden lost? False. Joe Biden was looking for someone. And I just found that story funny because I'm like, you're fact checking the opinion people have about how he looked. How do you fact check that? Well, perhaps what they do is they find the most fringe elements who take things too far and then fact check that to try and make the entire story seem bunk. Joe Biden wasn't lost, but he did look lost. He was looking for somebody who couldn't find him. So maybe a little bit lost. There's another video that's really sad where Joe Biden walks over to Obama and is like patting his shoulder with this this distressed expression like and Obama's ignoring him. And it's just it's just it is a sad video. Fact check. False. Obama was just being polite. Whatever they want to say, it's nonsense. Here's the story. Footage of the moment shared on social media showed Mr. Biden then turned back to his audience looking disoriented while aides and guests at the university applauded his speech. Earlier, he claimed to have served as a full professor at the University of Pennsylvania, despite never teaching a class there. (laughs) Yo, this guy is so out of his mind. He's just like, saying things that are easily disproven. And uh, I feel kind of bad. I feel bad for Joe Biden. I don't feel bad for the media or the Democrats. I feel bad for this befuddled old man who doesn't even know what his life is anymore. And they clap and they cheer and it's gross. This dude should have been riding off into the sunset. He should have been sitting in his in his rocking chair on his porch with some, you know, with some straw in his mouth, sipping on a nice unsweet tea some sun tea. Instead, they prop him up. The dude can't talk. He shakes. Was he, was he, was he hallucinating? I mean, let's, let's get real. Did Joe Biden hallucinate when he tried to shake the hand of nobody? I mean, what was that? Did he see someone there? And you know, they're not going to be honest if they get him a cognitive test. This guy is broken. They say, his speech had been aimed at ramping up pressure on Congress to increase funding for semiconductor funding amid a shortfall of the key component. A number of his political adversaries, including Ted Cruz, seized on Mr. Biden's latest gaffe, using it to question his his, uh, mental aptitude. Cruz shared the video with just wide-eyed emojis. And Harmeet Dillon, chairwoman, chairwoman of the California Republic Party, wrote, I repeat, where are the White House and Biden family handlers whose job it is to make him look good? Robbie Starbuck, running for Congress in Tennessee, said, oh man, The music makes it 10 times worse. The man is unfit to be president, period. I agree. Look, I have questions about Donald Trump, and I always did. That's why I didn't vote for him in the first place in 2016, because I felt like uh, I didn't think he was presidential. But then you put Joe Biden up against Donald Trump, and I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. I mean, Hillary Clinton, I was like, yeah, they're both bad. Joe Biden, a guy who didn't even campaign. Nah. Plus, let's be real. Trump's uh, second term agenda, actually pretty good. I think, I mean, from like any populist standard, pretty good, whether you're left or right. The left wanted Biden for some reason. Like if you're, look, if you're a left populist, you would rather have a populist. Why would you vote for Joe Biden, who's an authoritarian, cr- uh, corrupt crony capitalist? Literally makes no sense. But uh, whatever. You now they're going to mention, uh, you know, Joe Biden and his other gaffes. Well, Joe Biden's not a professor. He never taught a class at UPenn. I don't know why he just said that as if people couldn't Google it and be like, he made that up. But sure. But let's get into the real, the real story. Bird poops on Biden as he claims U.S. is in dumps because of Putin. Oh, no. The New York Post says not even the birds approved of President Biden in Iowa on Tuesday as a winged spectator defecated on the beleaguered commander in chief as he gave a speech inside a barn. Biden's blue suit took a direct hit as he began a 25 minute address in which he blamed the U.S.'s 8.5 percent inflation rate on Vladimir Putin. I'm here today to talk about what we can do, lower the costs for American families and, and put rural America at the center of our efforts to build a future that's made in America. Biden said, said moments before he was struck. That's not hyperbole. The president didn't seem to notice the white splatter just above his U.S. flag lapel pin and continued speaking next to an enormous pile of cornmeal. Hmm, interesting. The New York Post acknowledges that Joe Biden was standing next to a gigantic pile of cornmeal. Okay, well, let's take a look at this image. You can see there is some sort of splatter on uh, on, on Joe Biden. What is it? 
I don't know. I, I have no idea what it is. Uh, but it did splatter. And it makes me feel like it may be bird poop. Now, we have fact checkers stepping in to inform us it is not bird poop. Oh, I'm sorry. Snopes. Thank you, Snopes. Says, did a bird poop on Biden? Something fell on the president's shoulder. Was it bird poop? All right. Here's what we're going to do. We are, we are going to go into depth here. And we're going to do a hard scientific analysis of what is on Joe Biden's lapel. Okay. Now, here's what Snopes says. Miscaptioned. A video shows a bird pooping on U.S. President Joe Biden. They didn't say false. Here's what they say. Biden was standing next to piles of processed corn. It was likely corn. The above images from the photographer, blah, blah, blah. Yes, Joe Biden was standing next to a big pile of corn. And not only that, you can see that corn is falling from the sky. Uh, the corn is being loaded in a big pile and is filling up behind him. Sure. It certainly seems plausible that what fell onto Biden was a piece of some sort of corn byproduct and not bird poop. Are you kidding me? Okay. The White House says corn shortly after the video, blah, blah, blah. The White House uh, uh, communications director, Kate Bedingfield, posted a message on Twitter stating that it was corn and not bird poop that fell on Biden's shoulder. Here's the issue I have with this. Bedingfield said, if you guys knew your way around a corn silo at all, you'd know it was corn. Why? Why would I know it was corn? Okay, hold on. They may be playing a game here. Maybe it is corn. They see the photo record. We examined photographs from Reuters, the AP and Getty to get a closer look at the corn bird corn slash bird poop. Upon closer examination, the bird poop appears to be somewhat yellowish in color like corn and looks more like dust from corn processing than liquid. False. I say false, good sir. You don't know. How can you argue a definitive fact on this being misattributed when you don't even know? So the White House said it wasn't bird poop. I don't know if it was bird poop, but let me show you some. Here's a slow motion video capturing the moment of impact. There it goes. I think it's fair to say that whatever hit Joe Biden was to a degree granular. But hold on there a minute. They said some kind of corn byproduct. You see, what Snopes is doing is trying to make it seem more plausible that it's corn. Let me just give you the simple answer. Could a bird have eaten a ton of the corn and then pooped out a combination of poop and corn? Yeah. And so here's my here's, here's my case. Your Honor, I present to you a photo from Exhibit A. The point of impact on Joe Biden's lapel shows that whatever hit maintained its integrity at the site of impact and then trickled downward. That is to say, I would argue that there may be a viscous material binding some of these corn particles, which is why they would argue a corn byproduct and not outright corn. You see? Now, why would a corn byproduct fly up in the air and fall straight down on Biden? I don't know. Based on that, I can only go with what I do know. Birds eat corn. It's not good for them. The bird might poop out a large quantity of it, and then it would have some viscous poop or urea mixed in with it, and we would consider it to be bird poop. It would then land on something, and at the point of impact where there is some kind of viscous bonding element, it would stick and then splatter. Now, here's the real point. Why did Snopes fact check something they didn't know? I, I know, I, many of you are probably laughing. You're like, haha, bird poop. Some of you are probably saying, Tim, who cares about bird poop? You're right, you're right. That's why I didn't cover the story when it happened two days ago. And people were like, you see the bird poop? I'm like, yeah, I really don't care. It is not Joe Biden's fault he got pooped on. You'll get pooped on. Mark my words, one of these days, a bird will poop on you. And then you're going to sit there and be like, I shouldn't have made fun of Biden. And everyone's going to be laughing at you. No, nah, I'm kidding. But uh, you, look, you'll get you'll get pooped on. I don't blame Biden for getting pooped on if he got pooped on. I just don't know why the media is trying so hard to deflect this, to fact check this. So what? That's the real story to me. That something bad happens. Something embarrassing happens. And then the media tries to find an explanation. They, and, and, and it's Betteridge's law of headlines, right? Snope says, did a bird poop on Biden? Yeah, but this is the way that, was it bird poop? No. That's the game they play, right? Because if a headline asks a question, the answer is no. Would they have just said a, a headline of 
people believe a bird pooped on Biden because something splattered on him. We don't know if it's bird poop. Isn't that the real fact check? Let me give you a real fact check. Here's a fact check. Snopes admits in their own article they don't know what landed on Biden. They think it might be corn because he's standing next to corn. But if a bird got into, into there and ate a bunch of corn, the bird would be pooping out corn, wouldn't it? Or couldn't it, at the very least? What I can only say is the media is trying to do the exact same thing they're accusing the right of doing. They are speculating as to what happened and then writing articles about it. The New York Post said a bird did poop on Biden. Now, I think it's a fair assessment because you see the splatter, but they don't know. I think based on everything they've seen and everything that everyone said, they'd be like, okay, they just write it up. A bird pooped on him. We, we accept that as true. But it, it's probably not, which is why I don't go near stories like this. Then Snopes comes out and says, no, it was definitively corn. A corn byproduct, obviously, because real corn wouldn't stick to him like that. You see the stupid game the media plays? I'm no fan. I am no fan. Fox News reports Biden's spectacularly low approval rating makes re-election virtual, uh, re-election virtual impossibility says former Clinton pollster. Voters see Biden's out-of-control spending as a reason for inflation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Joe Biden, he can't run. What are we going to do with this guy, huh? If Joe Biden doesn't run, the Democrats need to start preparing for a primary. And that means the primary season will be early 2023, next year. So they have about one year. You know, I was, I, was, I was hanging out with the Daily Wire guys. Ben Shapiro said they're going to strap him to a gurney, and they have to. They have to. I get it. Strap him to a gurney. But, I mean, you would literally have to strap him to a gurney. I know Ben was speaking figuratively, but you would literally have to do it. The dude slept through his first campaign, and it was a referendum on Trump and COVID. Now, with the referendum on Biden, he ain't going to win. So what do they do? Stand back and say, give Trump a second term? Give DeSantis a first term? Honestly, I have no idea. I'd imagine they're going to have to launch a primary. They're going to have Pete Buttigieg and Kamala Harris, and they're going to have to try and figure out a way to make them seem like viable candidates. Because where are we right now? The media does everything in its power to try and obfuscate the embarrassing things that happened to Joe Biden, the corrupt things that Joe Biden does, and the fact that his brain is broken. Now, props to the Telegraph. You know, I, I suppose they're more conservative and they're pointing out that Joe Biden's trying to shake the, you know, shake the hand of, of no one. I'll tell you what's coming. What's coming is a fact check that says, did Joe Biden try to shake the hand of an imaginary person? False. Joe Biden simply lifted up his hand and then turned away. We don't know what his intentions were. He was just maybe waving to someone. That's what they'll do. Yo, he raised his hand as if to shake someone's hand. That's what people saw. I think it's fascinating because I go back to that moment when uh, Donald Trump was speaking and Jim Acosta had the microphone and the White House aide tried to take it from him and he yanked it back. And it was amazing because um, I even I even had like a DM from Phil DeFranco and he was like, are you serious with this? And I was like, dude, it makes no sense that the White House, like the, the way the motions were between Jim Acosta of CNN and the White House aide, it made no sense that the White House aide would extend her arm fully and then lean her shoulder down to try and pull it down. She would pull it towards her, not down. It does make sense that Jim Acosta holding it tight to his chest with her hand on it pulls it down because that's where his hand would go. Look at the motion I'm making with my hand right now. And uh, uh, it's amazing to me that people don't understand basic concepts like that. You would not reach your hand all the way out and then dip your shoulder down and lean into a pull. That makes no sense. You'd grab the mic and pull it towards you. Jim Acosta holding it towards him would yank it down. The media lies. There are, there are, there are people who will believe whatever the media lie is. They want to fit in. They've always wanted to fit in. And so what they do is when the media has a false narrative, they go along with it just so they don't become outgroup. Yo, y'all are the outgroup to each and every one of you. Phil DeFranco also got the Covington kid story wrong because the dude apparently can't just Google search anything. No, it's because people just become lazy. Bill Maher is lazy. John Stewart is lazy. Phil DeFranco is lazy. They don't do the work. I did not cover the bird poop story when it came out because I didn't think it mattered. And I don't care. 
It's not. But but now that we're seeing the media's reaction, talking about Joe Biden's handshake, I also don't care. Well, I care a little bit about that because the dude's brain is broken. But the, but the the reason I bring these thing up, these things up is how is this man going to run for reelection to any sane person who is paying attention? I'm sick of people falling for these pit traps. But it's mostly on the left and the establishment. The media has been knee jerk with everything. Covenant kids, Justice Millett, blah, 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 Russia Gate. Lies, lies, lies. I'm sick of it. Take the five minutes to research what's going on and look at some videos before you come out and say what you think you know. But Snopes plays that game. It was a corn byproduct, in our opinion, but that's a fact. Shut up. It's not a fact, it's what you think. Maybe it's plausible. You made your argument, sure, but it very well may be bird poop. I know we can make uh, make jokes about it and try and be funny, but the reality is we've got a crooked media and uh, 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 establishment. We're starting to wake up to it, which is the good thing. And we got a, a president whose brain doesn't work. Donald Trump's brain doesn't work in different ways. And I mean that jokingly. The guy is a potty mouth. He is he is emotional. But at least his ideas did work for this country to a, to, to a better degree than we've seen in a long time. No new wars, booming economy. And then COVID happened. I don't blame Biden for COVID. I don't blame Trump for COVID. I blame Biden for his failure on policy and energy and foreign policy. But here we go. Let's see who they sub in next. It ain't going to. I can't imagine it's Biden, but I could be wrong. You know, I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 4 p.m. over at YouTube.com slash Timcast. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you all then.